computers. It doesn't exist. It isn't true. This guy is a drunken idiot who they claim did it. Schaefer said it's probably an internal false flag. This guy's probably just an operative fake name to put the story out. All of this is coming to a head right now. They're getting ready to hit Iran. The globalists will then stage terror attacks all over the West. They will clamp down the media. Obama's approval rating will go to 85%, and they will ram through the austerity, the banker bailouts, all of it. This is it. I told you, a war, false flag, all of it was coming. It's here. They're about to, but the good news is you see the power structure doesn't like it, a lot of them. That's why there's all these articles all over. Even the New York Times says this Iran thing is bull. That's because a lot of people in the power structure have been brought to the edge of the cliff. And they realize what's about to happen. It's called World War Three. The Iran situation goes from $10 a gallon gas and wars and terror attacks on the good end to World War Three on the bad end, from bad to worse. Let's play this clip of Anthony Schaefer with Judge Andrew Napolitano yesterday on Fox Business. Here it is. Yesterday, the FBI alleged they had foiled an Iranian terror plot. But the main suspect has been in custody since September. So why did the Department of Justice wait until now to announce this threat? Is it mere coincidence as it comes at a time when House Republicans, as you've just heard, subpoenaed the head of the Justice Department, Attorney General Holder himself, for his marred gun-running program, Operation Fast and Furious, which, as you know, let military-grade weaponry get in the hands of Mex Mexican drug gangs? Or is there another explanation for this curious announcement that Mr. Holder made yesterday? Joining us by phone from Virginia is retired Army Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Schaefer. Colonel Schaefer, it's always a pleasure. Uh, welcome back to Freedom Watch. Thank you for having me, Judge. Sorry, well, I can't be there. Uh, as are we, but we appreciate you picking up the phone and calling us. What is your take uh, on this alleged uh, terror plot uh, involving Iran? Is this, is this the way the Iran intelligence uh, agencies usually operate engaging with somebody they thought were involved with mexican drunk gangs to assassinate a saudi arabian uh, ambassador in a public restaurant in new york or washington well it's a long way to get to a, a, a much easier target in other places and no I, I don't think so and obviously i've interrogated uh, the iranians uh, it's two, two chapters of my book operation dark heart are dedicated to this and and that's what makes me think twice about this. The American that they're accusing here, Judge, was uh, he, true enough. He has a dual uh, passport, Iranian American. But frankly, the, my experience has been directly that these people love being here. Once they're here, they love being here. And the idea of this guy, all of a sudden, after years being a, a successful, by all accounts, a successful used car salesman in, in Texas, part of the community, I, I would think it would be very difficult to imagine him just all of a sudden deciding that he's going to go against everything he's done for the past, you know, for the past 15 years. To do this, it, it just it, it, it does not smell smell correctly at this point in time. All right. Well, g give me, if you would, your best estimate as to what does spell correctly. For example, is it possible that this Iranian American is is a double agent who wanted to trick the government of the United States of America into taking some action uh, against Iran? There, is it a, likely there... that the FBI concocted this whole thing, and because it was a sting, nobody was ever in danger? There was never a real plot. This guy was plotting with FBI agents who he thought were Mex uh, Mexican drug lords. What does Colonel Schaefer think really went down here? I think that's part of it. I, I think the reason it came out now is, is literally this is red meat to uh, to a bunch of lions. You know, I think this is why they threw it out now at this point, not in September. Secondly, yeah, the, the FBI has had a record lately, and, and, and I did talk to one of my inside guys today, and he is saying that he thinks the same thing. You know why? Because he can't find any real information, and he's got a clearance. So that tells him that there's something going on that's extraordinary by the fact that he's an inside, you know, uh, investigator, knows what's going on, and yet, and I'm going to quote here, there's nothing on this within the DOJ beyond what they've talked about publicly, which means to him there's something wow. very wrong with it. Uh, look, the United States used failed and flawed intelligence to attack Iraq in 1991 and in 2003. Is there the danger that we might use something as preposterous as this plot, which was created and run and controlled by the FBI that was announced yesterday, as a basis for invading the country of Iran, which, as you know, a lot of neocons in this country have been itching to get us to do? Right. I've I got to tell you, I, I, I do believe the Iranians do pose a threat. However, I agree with you on this. I, there's no reason to believe at this point that the intel is there to justify a direct military action. So, All right, ladies and gentlemen, here, much deeper the rest of the yeah. clip is up at Infowars.com. We're going to be right back with Mike Adams, Paul Watson joining us, Dr. Steve Pachenik, and more. I'm Alex Jones. This is one of the most important broadcasts ever.
Iodine protection packs from HempUSA.org are now in stock for immediate delivery worldwide. Our iodine protection packs include micro plant powder, green life kelp, red palm oil, and our clear roll-on iodine that will feed the body the iodine it needs. All iodine protection packs are in stock, save you money, and ship for free in all 50 states. Visit HempUSA.org or call 908-691-2608 today. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carding to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Hi, Ted Anderson. I'm placing a silver dollar in a book explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. What you're about to hear is the real experience of women over 40 who finally lost weight, even around the stubborn belly area. How? By becoming hormonally balanced again. Their secret is the Amberin Slim After 40 program. Amberin is the revolutionary formula for women over 40 that balances hormones naturally. You see, the leading cause of weight gain over 40 is hormonal imbalance. Unless you balance your hormones, losing weight may be impossible. But the Amberin Slim After 40 program changes all of that. Amberin restores hormonal balance naturally. Plus, it dramatically boosts your cell metabolism, so the weight can just fall right off, even that stubborn belly fat. Plus, Amberin eliminates other symptoms of hormonal aging, like hot flashes, night sweats, low libido, difficulty concentrating, and more. Be one of the first 50 callers right now, and they'll send you a complimentary risk-free trial with a 30-day supply. Free. Call 1-800-894-8776. That's 1-800-894-8776. 1-800-894-8776. You don't need me to tell you that humanity is in a deep crisis. Everyone can feel it. We know a tectonic struggle is now taking place between the forces of freedom and those who love darkness, bondage, and enslavement. Yes, my friends, evil is rising. But take heart, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Recently, New World Order operative Hillary Clinton admitted they're losing the info war. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. The globalists are scared. They've overreached. The future of the info war is in your hands. Join PrisonPlanet.tv. Download the thousands of special video reports, ebooks, and more, and get them out to everyone you know. Continue to spread the word about the broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and every other globalist propaganda platform. We are going to use their system against them. The info war now goes into high gear. Big Berkey water filters are in high demand. Storable foods are also in high demand. Big Berkey water filters.com has always kept our focus on the Berkey water filter products but increasingly our customers have been asking for storable foods after months of research big Berkey water filters.com now offers great tasting long-lasting storable foods these ready-to-eat meals are packed in airtight nitrogen pouches all you do is just add water and because they're sealed so well they come with a 25-year shelf life combine our Berkey water filters which are powerful enough to purify treated untreated or even stagnant pond water with our storable foods and you have a winning combination remember we offer free shipping on every order over 50 dollars and gcn listeners receive five percent off all ceramic filter systems visit big b-e-r-k-e-y waterfilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY that's big berkey waterfilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY today Just pop it in for a few minutes here. Mike Adams is going to be hosting the whole show, but I leave here in about 20 minutes. It's Dr. Steve Pachinik popping in in the next segment. He concurs with my analysis and says he has that from his intelligence agency uh, connections. And remember, this is the guy who's literally overthrown governments. And he says that, yes, the power structure right now is in a big fight. Uh, he said Israel wants to go in and attack uh, right now. And, folks, we don't want World War III, but, but Mike Adams, and we'll let Watson pop in later. He's going to have a report out on this, so he'll pop in later during the show. But uh, Mike Adams has asked me a question during the break. He said, why is it Saudi ambassadors? Why? Well, notice Mexico's involved, so that kind of muddies the water with the drug runner, uh, gun runner thing. Saudi Arabia was used in the fable of 9-11. 
Saudi Arabia was used with the Mujahideen against the Russians. Saudi Arabia's big allies with the U.S., England, and Israel. And Saudi Arabia, there's plausible deniability now to say, oh, there was a plot to bomb your embassy. That way it's not a U.S. embassy. So it's always the same players. And again, you heard Colonel Schaefer saying he talked to the high-level Justice Department. The word is FBI. Schaefer's on tomorrow. He's on, he was getting on a plane with Jaron Collin this morning to be on MSNBC about this. Uh, you know, Schaefer's saying high-level Justice Department said it's not in the computers. It's fake. It's not real. It's totally manufactured. It's perfect timing. The day before the subpoenas went out, and Israel's got the bunker busters. My cousin has just been deployed 20-something years in the Army. I called other Army sources. They said, how do you know this stuff? They said, I'm not talking to you. These are people I've known for a long time. Then, then Steve Pachinik calls up saying, it's on, it's on. Ladies and gentlemen, it has never been green-lighted like this, except when Fox Fallon said no and they fired him from CENTCOM. The military knows this is disastrous. Paul Watson, what's your intel on this? I know you've got an article coming out. We are on the verge of World War III. They are launching it. That's from multiple sources, Paul. We've got to get the article out and warn people. The, the government blew its own cover on Fast and Furious to blackmail eight different federal agencies. The eight federal agencies took the bait in this criminal conspiracy. They're being blackmailed now. Do you understand that, Paul? Well, I mean, th this makes the terror plots manufactured by the Bush administration, which, of course, it was admitted that many of them were manufactured by Tom Ridge, former Homeland Security Director, makes them look sophisticated in comparison to this. I mean, it's so transparently fabricated that even the New York Times and the Washington Post today are having to admit that it's dubious, to say the least, because we're being asked to believe that the elite Iranian Al-Quds force hired a used car salesman from Corpus Christi to then hire assassins to blow up embassies and restaurants in uh, Washington, D.C. in order to try and kill the Saudi ambassador to the United States. Um, obviously, again, it involves Mexican Los Zetas gang members. They were supposedly part of the plot. He was trying to pay them off to carry out and the assassination. And they were trained at Fort Benning, Georgia, and are used to knock out the, 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 the drug cartels that aren't laundering their money. This is ridiculous. Well, yeah, I mean, court transcripts from the past few months have proven again and again that Los Zetas is completely infiltrated in, in cahoots with the federal government. They received many of the weapons that were part of the fast and furious cover-up. But, I mean, aside from the, the ludicrous notion that Iran would risk carrying out such a hit inside the United States when it would be far easier to do so anywhere in the Middle East, you know, aside from the fact that this highly trained Al-Quds Iranian elite revolutionary guard force who are highly trained would entrust this plot to a used car salesman. As you just said, Schaefer dropped the bombshell last night on um, Judge Andrew Napolitano's Fox Business show. He talked to an FBI investigator with the necessary security clearance who went into the back channels, into the archives, and found no information whatsoever regarding the plot which obviously directly suggests that it's been completely fabricated well, out of all it up and have expunged it because they're running it or it doesn't exist. Exactly. And isn't it ironic that the Obama administration has fabricated this hoax about Iran conducting assassinations on U.S. soil when we know from the Bush era program, which was continued by Obama, that the Central Intelligence Agency works with Jundullah, the Iranian Sunni al-Qaeda group, to carry out bombings and assassinations in Iran to destabilize their the government on a regular ago, basis. put a press release out on it, Paul. I need you to get an article out with a searing headline because you, a headline can't talk about how powerful this is. There's no way to be too sensational. I've got sources uh, across the board, including family who won't talk, but I know where they're going, uh, that it is on, it is on, it is on. Just like I told people they were going to bring down Qaddafi and invade in September, two months before it happened. It is on, folks. It is on. I want to repeat this. They are planning an Israeli-led bombardment on Iran. And people say, well, how does this indict them? It's just this idea. Well, they tried to attack America, you know, blowing up an embassy. We're on.